hi friends welcome back to the channel so in the today's video we are going to see about the file systems means which are the file system required to do the implementation or the installation of the HANA database so before start today's video we will do the recap what we learned in the last video of the HANA database installation part 1 so we learn about the deployment approach so there are two approach which we have for the HANA database installation that is TDI is the first one and the second one is SAP appliance we also learn about the download the software and how to use the PAM for the downloading the software so all this learning we did in the last video so in the today's video we are going to see about the recommended or the required file system so basically there are five file systems those we need for the installation of the HANA database but the one file system that is the root it's a root directory basically and it get created when we do the installation of the operating system so this is automatically get create when we do the installation of the operating system apart from that the actual directory those we required for the HANA database or we can say the database directory these are HANA slash shared HANA slash data HANA slash log and the one local directory which is the USR SAP so this directory we need before start the installation of the HANA database system if these are missing then installation will get failed so it's a mandatory to create and mount this directory before run the HDB LCM so now we will see one by one information about this directory so the first directory is the HANA slash shared so HANA slash shared is the installation path and it also called as the SAP MNT second directory is the HANA slash data which stored the actual data and the third directory is the HANA slash log which stored the log and the fourth directory is the local directory which is the USR SAP it's a local directory of the system and this directory is also called this file system is also called as a system instance this is the path to the local SAP system instance directory so now we will see the sub directory of this directories so before start installation we need this directory to be get mounted uh, before start installation we need this directory to be get mounted successfully then only the installation will get start so once the installation get start we have to provide the SID and once we provide the SID then automatically the sub directory along with the SID will get created under that respective file system so now first we will see about the local directory that is the USR SAP so in the USR SAP the sub directory which get create these are the first one is host control so the host control is a directory for the SAP host agent so host agent related file will get stored executable file or the file will get stored under this directory then the second is the SMD agent so SMD agent related file will get stored under this SMD agent directory one thing we need to remember that USR SAP SID must not be mount point okay so USR SAP will be the mount point but USR SAP SID it must not be mount point okay so now we will move to the second directory that is the HANA slash data so HANA slash data we need to mount we need to create and mount and at the time of the installation the SID directory and their sub directory will get automatically created okay so the next one is a lock so same way the HANA slash log need to create and mount successfully then the SID and the sub directories will get automatically create 
the third one is the hana slash shared as i said which we also called as the sap mnt it's need to be create and mount successfully hana slash shared need to be create and mount successfully then the sub directories get automatically create these are sid and under sid the hdb lcm will get create then the hdb and the instance number for example the if the instance number is double zero then hdb double zero this directory will get create then the profile then the hana database profile files configuration files will get stored under these directories then the exe it contain the executable programs of the hana database then the next directories those are SAP HANA shared SID HANA studio underscore update so under this directory studio repository installation path studio repository is used to update the local HANA studio installation so it means that while doing the upgrade of the HANA studio the file gets stored under this path the next one is the hana slash shared sid hdb studio so under the hdb studio the studio related file will get stored then hdb client so this directory is for the hana database client executable or installation path we can say the files related to hana database client will get stored under this respective path the mandatory file system which we required these are usr sap data log and shared that must be create and get mounted before start the hdb lcm tool i hope you will like this video and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and share with your friend and please suggest the topics on which topic you want to get the video i will try my best to share the knowledge regarding that topics thank you thank you for watching the video